What's up everyone? Magical Chronicles here. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. If you've been here before, hit that like button. You know how we do it. Venus sign in all of the zodiacs. That's right. I'm looking at your love, your relationships, your friendships, career, wealth, money, travel, self-care, you name it. Whatever gets you a little closer to you know what? That abundance. Okay. I'm focusing on love, okay? I've had quite a few requests. Everyone's like, love, 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 love. So we're gonna be doing love. Of course, you know, I'm gonna tap into career and money if it comes up. Anything that really helps you, I will let you know, but I will be focusing on love. All right, so while I was shuffling, I did have one message that came out about stepping up in terms of creativity. And today we're gonna be focusing on the Venus sign of Cancer. So I know in terms of those of you who are dating, you need to think outside the box when it comes to dating. So don't just go to cafes, don't just go for dinner and lunch. Think about doing something creative. Go to a museum, go to an art gallery, go do something like axe throwing, go do golf, mini golf, anything like that. Um, maybe go to the historic sites in your area and you know just do something that you've never done before. So just be a little bit more creative maybe even do something like going to you know like maybe one of you likes pets going to a dog park going to the zoo going just something that just doesn't involve going to lunch and dinner just step up that creativity you know have a have a bit more fun i think this is what that card is saying it's about your creativity outlet right now and in terms of dating this is what you want to do you just want to like i said step outside that box okay this is also a great time for you to relax with your partners. Those of you who are in relationships, have some fun, enjoy the wine, you know, just do something together, both of you, where you're just enjoying each other's company and really enjoying, um, I don't want to say the fruits of your labor, but more so just enjoying what you've built up together, those of you who are in your partnership. So that's the second card out right here, enjoying um, each other's company and getting out there and just de-stressing and relaxing together. Okay, let's go ahead and hit some more cards. Let's see what's going on with, um, let's go ahead and start with singles since that's how we started off, right? All right, what do Venus and Cancer singles need to learn and understand, please? All right, we got three cards already. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm loving this. All right, so nine of cups magician six of swords so some of you i feel like you may not meet your partner exactly where you are i feel like you may meet your partner like you're going to find the happiness that you're looking for um across the pond moving so you're either moving or you're going to be meeting your partner while traveling here with the nine of cups i feel like it's going to end up being something where you're going to meet someone and y'all going to have a really great time together like either on vacation or through a friend somewhere maybe you go to visit family and you meet someone but you're going to end up having fun wherever you are and what's going to happen is that you're going to meet someone and you're i think you're going to be more the one that's going to take the action like you're going to be like hey so i know i don't live around here <laughs> but I would still like to continue having a conversation with you. So that's what's coming up here with Nine of Cups, Magician, and Six of Swords. Let's get a few more cards to see what's happening from a Venus and Cancer singles. What else do we need to learn on this channel for the highest good? Okay. All right. So yeah, you're going to end up meeting someone I don't think you know this person but you also do have quite a few people who are watching you on your social media looking at what you post um it's possible that this person knows you through someone else and so they may have asked questions about you already um like a family friend but I'm seeing here that they're trying to figure out how they're going to approach you. But like I said, it could be two scenarios. It could be either a case of you meeting this person 
while you're, you know, on a vacation or traveling or through friends. But there's already some people, I don't think it's only one, I do feel that you have more than one suitor, as you would say, who is watching you. And this is again, man or woman, as you know, I read for everyone. But um, also, if you are someone who already has kids, I feel as though this is what stops you from traveling. So some of you may not be traveling. Um, you don't get a chance to like really get out there and travel as much. Hey, take your kid with you. Why not? I mean, if your parents, the grandparents are not available to watch or you don't have somebody who's trustworthy, if you can afford it, take them with you because, you know, you need a vacation. But um, sometimes I feel as though what stops you from putting yourself out there is actually your kids or your child because you want to make sure that you're, I mean, I know you want to spend a lot of time with your family, with your, with your child or your children, but also I feel as though like you don't want to introduce your kids to just any and everyone. So that's why you have not really been out there actively looking, but you will end up um, following your gut instinct. I really do think you're going to end up following your gut instinct and you're going to end up going on a trip at some point and you're going to meet someone. So just be aware of that for my Venus and Cancer singles. All right, let's get a few more cards here. See what's happening. What else does Venus and Cancer singles need to really understand for that? Yeah, so... What you're looking for is going to be fulfilled. This person that you're going to end up meeting, I do feel as though they are going to come in fairly quickly, but it's going to get quite serious because they're going to understand that you have kids and what's going to happen is that they're going to connect quite well with your children. And if it is that you are somebody who wants more kids, I do believe that this partner is willing and open to having more children and like blending the family. So you've got that here with the 10 of cups. It's all about family right now. So you're going to end up dating and meeting someone who's very much family oriented and they are going to be watching to see, um, you know, what's going on with you. And they're going to be very careful about like, you know, meeting your children and you all discussing about what their future should hold. So that's Venus and cancer singles, right? Okay, let's go ahead and get some cards for the Venus and Cancer couples, please. What do you need to learn and understand for their highest good? All right, one card from here. So with the couples, some of you, religion is coming up. Spirituality is coming up. So I don't know if one of you is starting to kind of feel like something is missing right now in your life and you want to start looking at religion because... There's something that's just kind of like niggling you and bothering you. You feel like there's more that you could be doing. You feel like there's something missing out of your life. You're not really quite sure how to like broach the topic with a partner. Um, I'm pretty sure that, that if you did have that conversation with your partner, they'd be more open than you think. Because a lot of people always think that religion is like a taboo topic that we can't discuss. But I see you here trying to figure shit out. Um, you're like really doing some research and studying what's, you know, like different types of spiritualities and different types of healing because you do feel like there's something missing. So let's see what else is happening here. What else does Venus and Cancer couples need to learn or understand? All right, I feel like I should get one more card out of this deck. All right, so we already got the judgment. All right. Oh, King of Wands. All right. So, yes, you are going through a bit of an awakening right now. It's like you feel like something is calling you with what's going on with the, um, with, you know, kind of looking at the spirituality. You're starting to, to like kind of wake up. You're like, okay, something needs to change. You're kind of feeling like you, you're starting to look into all these different spiritualities and it's because like, you want to do some healing of your own. So what's happening is that you, you're you looking for change within your life. Nothing wrong with that. Just go for it, right? I think it's a great time for you to do that because you have been for too long just kind of holding back who you are as a person. And so what's happening is that this is the time for you to kind of like just bring that forth so that you um, just kind of figure things out on your own as to what's going on. I'm not saying that you can't, include your partner in it i do think you should share this with your partner but i understand it's something that maybe you kind of want to like just figure it out i don't know if maybe you've 
looked into any kind of spirituality before and maybe it just didn't fit with you and you know it's a possibility that family or friends or someone was like why are you looking into this so that kind of made you you know a little bit hesitant to share and there's nothing wrong with that if you just want to keep it to yourself for a bit but i say go for it um you got here the opportunity to forgive my venus and cancer couple so this is saying that something came up recently that kind of annoyed you and it seems as though this is the universe is saying that this is your time to like release you know any kind of negative patterns or release and heal right now from whatever happened in the past or something that has been weighing heavy on you so just release any of those like you know unforgiving thoughts that you've had or any kind of feelings or energies that you're putting towards something but if you know that there's something in particular that has been bothering you this is the time for you to just release it right even if it's something that a partner may have said or a partner said in passing and and like maybe you've held on to it so like this is the time for you to be like okay i need to let this go okay so let's get a few more cards for my venus in cancer couples please let's get some more cards oh overflow all right let's go ahead and clarify the overflow okay so we got the overflow card we've got the coldness and we've got a breakthrough so what's happening is that you're going through actually quite a lot of emotions right now so i feel like you have been thinking a lot about healing love um kind of like switching things up right now in your own life what's happening is that your heart really it's like going through these changes, like you love deeply with your partner, but also you know that it kind of scares you a little bit. And I think that may also be why you're looking into some spirituality because you have a lot of unexplained questions. Like you have a lot of questions. Um, I don't know if at some point you, you may have gone through some periods in your relationship where you became a little bit cold towards your partner and it wasn't that you had like a big issue with them it's just you like you've been trying to figure things out you've been trying to like just figure out your own relationship with yourself that has been a main thing but what's happening is that now because you've been looking into religion and spirituality and healing your breakthrough is actually like on that brink like you're you're as you research things start to make more sense right so what's happening is that you are opening up a little bit more in terms of communication with your partner and you're starting to kind of feel that warmth again towards them um i don't know like i said if it was a possibility that you weren't able to have a discussion with your partner before but i do see here a lot of changes going on with you within you like that's the main thing that's like the main story here all right let's see what else says venus and cancer Ooh, there's your card you get another one yeah so you got the hermit here so there's been a shitload of like soul searching you've been doing you've been going deep inwards just trying to figure shit out let's go ahead and um clarify this hermit card for me please last card out is ha you got judgment again you got judgment twice so yeah so this has been you just really taking a step back from everyone including your own partnership just to try and like figure things out and you've been doing a lot of soul searching that's the that's the main thing here is the soul searching a lot of reflection a lot of renewal in your life a lot of changes happening and a lot of awakening judgment is all about awakening and healing so that's the main focus for you right now um it's not so much about the partnership but i do see a shake up in your partnership because once you start to heal you also heal your partner and also it changes the dynamics and the nature of the relationship for the better to be honest but i mean if things don't end up working out it just means that this was meant to happen right i don't see like a major um i don't see like a major breakup it's possible you know maybe one or two of you may be going through a breakup but i don't see a major breakup here happening i see it more so about um changes going through in the relationship for the better so i do hope that that answers your questions for anyone that needs any more clarity you know you can always message me um i'm doing 
$30 readings for 20 minutes. And I'm also doing $30 um, Reiki sessions for 45 minutes. So that's about like really clearing away any dense energy, looking at the chakras, seeing where you need to be more balanced and removing that dense energy to bring in much more positive light. So like, comment and subscribe and I will see you on the next one. And of course, you know, you can message me anytime, anytime, like does not matter. If you have a question, let me know. I'll pull a card. I'm down for that because I want everybody to get the clarity. And as you know, I am here to help you. So thanks so much for joining me, Magical Chronicles. See you next time. Bye.